pentatonic minor exercises. But we're going to also get into an example of how you take some of those exercises and turn it into a killer rock song like Frank Zappa did with Magic Fingers. So here goes an example of Magic Fingers by Frank Zappa. Okay, so that's most of the parts of Magic Fingers there. So what we're doing here is we're in this A minor pentatonic scale. So we got five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. So one example of an exercise we might start off doing is going up in fours. So five, eight, five, seven. Then we gotta start in the eight, because that was the second note. See, that's a eight, five, seven, five. Five, seven twice. Now we already did the five on that string, so we're gonna start in the seven here. So let's get all what we got so far. And you wanna get your down up picking on these, so. That was a set that started on that five. So let's look at Magic Fingers by Frank Zappa. We're gonna start here on the G string, seventh fret. So that's our first set of four. Seven, five, seven, five. Then we're gonna start on this five here, the C note on the fifth fret of the G string. And we're going down four more notes in that A minor pentatonic scale. So we're descending in fours is what we're doing. We're starting on a D the first time. And then we're starting on the C the next time. Then we're starting on the A. They're starting on this G. You gotta go to that eight there. And then we have this E going down. So. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to this lower position so we have access to this lower note here instead of hitting that C over here in the eighth fret. even end up using the big low E string. So once again, that was descending four, starting on a D, and then a C, and then an A, and then a G. So we don't hit every set. We kind of skip the set that would have started on the E note. Instead of coming back up here to this E, we're gonna go. So one more time. Okay, and then it's got A minor seven chord, C to D, back to that riff. And as you can see, you can slide every now and again, you can pull one off every now and again. There's another riff in this tune where he's gonna go. So if we look at that, that's that flat fifth of this A minor pentatonic when you add that flat fifth to it. So he's using that in there. And then there's another riff, kind of comes from, you've seen it in a bunch of other songs, like. It's kind of like the same thing a flat fifth does with that little chromatic, but on the string below. And it's still within kind of a minor pentatonic kind of context. 
So that's what he's using here. He's going. So once he's gone up using that flat fifth type of riff, he's going to come down with this extra strings, little chromatic thing too. And then you got a quick slide. And that's one of those bluesisms that Zappa was good at. So. And that's like your A minor 7 chord, kind of muting that A string, you got 5 and 5s. Kind of has this sort of rhythm. So let's get into another verse, A minor 7. C to D. And that big main riff. So that would go twice, and then we'd be into the other riff. So let's slow that down one more time. Let's go. Let's start that together. Two and three and four and. One more time. Three and four and. Let's look at the other riff. Let's do that beginning again. And then we got the double kind of chromatic. So all together. Quick slide five to seven on the D, back to the five, and then quick slide from seven to five on the A string. Three, five, three, five. And when you lie in on that last five, you might go to that finger so you can hit that chord. So once again, that was, let's start that three and four and. So one more time, let's start on the verse. I do live when I play it live, just do an extra one of those riffs. Find the A minor 9 there when you get that A minor 7 going, but you add that B note down there. All right, so let's look at some of those pentatonic exercises I was talking about. So he's using descending fours here to get that riff in the song. One E and a, two E and a. So let's start at the top of the scale and think about the A minor pentatonic scale all the way through again. So if we got, got going starting on the C, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And you wanna get your down up picking all the way. So let's try it nice and slow. Three and four and. Now what 
if we went up, starting on this one. So let's try to count that off nice and slow. Three and four and... Each set of four, you're going to the next note in the scale. So it's important to keep track of which note your four, set of four, started on. Let's try it again. Three and four and... Okay, let's do sets of threes. Here we're going to go, starting on the eight here. So it gets a little trickier because you have down, up, down on one string, and then you have up, down, up, kind of switching strings. So try again. I'll give you a three count. One, two, three. <laughs> Go back. One, two, three. Okay, let's do one big long exercise with these thirds where we're going to go all the way up the neck in this A minor pentatonic scale. So we're going to start with third fret on the big E string because you know the big open E is part of this A minor pentatonic scale. So we're going to go, we're going to do that thirds thing, threes, I mean, triplets kind of thing. Okay, so we went all the way up in like a little triplet feel. We start back here in this fourth position, which is below the first position of pentatonic. And then you can eat, you can use kind of whatever finger it makes sense. A lot of times I'll use this, this one if I know I'm sliding up into that. But when we're coming from this, you might just go into that and you can kind of fix it in the mix to get into those easier fingers. So we're just trying to go in those triplets and we're trying to move up between all the positions. So starting on this three, I'll play it one more time nice and slow. position and then up another one up one we're all the way to that high A right there now if we came back So you kind of see how that goes with that Zappa tune, how sliding down into that lower area accesses you to those lower notes if you wanted them. So one more time, let's do this together. Let's do a, I'll count you with one, two, three, and we'll get started. One, two, three. back one two three so it's really good to do these exercises you could practice them within a position you know you could even go like Think about that, three notes, but they're all going down. There's so many different patterns you can do. And working the threes and trying to keep your down-up picking is, is really good for your being able to skip strings and keep things on the beat where they should be within the phrasing and stuff. But here'd be an example of like going down in fours using some pull-offs. One more time. So you might use this pinky. 
Sometimes I use this other finger because it's kind of stronger for stuff. But when you do that, you have to stretch this other finger over one. And then let's go. Um, that's kind of an Almond Brothers thing you hear a lot. Kind of a whipping post thing. So one more little bonus riff that ties into Zappa too. Uh, one time he got a request for whipping post, and years later he worked up a version, a killer version of whipping post. But here's a little riff that kind of is in that A minor pentatonic too, and it's in an odd time signature. It has like a beat that's left off at the end. Okay, so that was some fun with exercises with minor pentatonic the, in A this case. And we used the song as an example, Magic Fingers by Frank Zappa. So much props to Zappa always. And uh, work on your scales, practice your stuff, practice with pull-offs, hammer-ons, try to move positions, go in different keys, all kind of stuff. Sometimes pick every note, sometimes don't pick every note. And uh, so cool. Please like and subscribe. I'm Damon Wood. We'll check you soon. Thanks a lot.